Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn how to start and stop the Sterling B2B server. So here we will see uh, in Linux machine. So in the Linux machine, if you see, uh, there is a command called as run.sh. So this command we use for starting the B2B server. And if you, we want to stop the B2B server, we use the command called as a hard stop.sh. And these both commands we need to execute from the installation directory, like where the Sterling B2B is, in, is installed. So now let's go to our machine and we will try to first stop the server and then we will try to start the server. Okay, so okay, I came over here. So if you see over here first, our server is in a started state, that's why I'm able to log into the dashboard okay so i need to stop so for stopping we need to use the hard stop command and this command i need to execute in the installation directory so we can go to putty and go to our si box and login as a root okay and uh, the installation directory path Okay, so now I am inside the install installation path. So normally the Sterling software get installed in inside the OPT directory, inside the OPT IBM Sterling integrator install and bin. And here you can see all the executable files. Oh, sorry, ls hyphen ltr. Okay, so these are all the executable files are there uh, with the extension as a dot sh file okay so we need to execute the command called as a hard stop dot sh okay so it will take around two minutes of time to stop the server okay so i think its server is stopped okay and now if you try to log into the server here So you can see I am not able to access the dashboard. Okay. So again we will try to run this command. So dot run dot sh. So now it is asking the passphrase. So I need to provide the passphrase over here. Passphrase is a keyword which we set at the time of the instance installation of Sterling B2B product. So again, it is one top layer of security. So if someone doesn't know the passphrase, so even if he has given the server startup command, but he doesn't know the passphrase, the server cannot be started. So here I'm giving the passphrase of this Sterling. So it has taken the passphrase and now it again resume the starting process. Okay, so now you can see the server is started and uh, we can just go to the browser and we'll see whether we are able to access the dashboard or not. Okay, so the server is started successfully now. So I can give the ID and password and I am able to log into the dashboard. So in this tutorial we learned how to stop and start the Sterling server in Linux environment. Thank you.